this month it is a fellow named Wynn Decker. And Wynn is an amazing guy for a couple of reasons. Uh, for number one, he is absolutely a serial kilter. He got into doing kilts several years ago just as an accessory for going to the Ren Fair, as many of us do. Uh, but as his interest in his genealogy and heritage expanded, his interest in kilts expanded too. Wait, that sounds really familiar. And he now has, I think he said about 13 kilts in his collection, and he kilts up every day. For about the last 14 months or so, he said he's been a serial kilter wearing kilts basically every day of the week. Um, and that would be enough, you know, to be an ambassador because it's like, cool, you're showing the heritage, man. That's awesome. Um, and you're in it to win it, obviously. But that's not why he's the ambassador this time around. The reason he's an ambassador is because Wynn did something which some of us do and some of us aspire to do, which is he's taken his love of his heritage and he's married it to something vastly more important. And that is, in his case, support of a deadly disease. Um, his wife, Helen, was diagnosed a couple years ago with uh, lupus. And lupus, uh, I didn't know much about until I talked to Wynn, and uh, he filled me in on a lot of stuff I didn't know. I mean, if you're like me, you've been under the impression that lupus is like, oh, that's where people can't go in the sun, right? No, it's not a skin condition. It is not a light sensitive sensitivity thing. It is an immunodeficiency disease where your immune system goes into overdrive and starts attacking the rest of your body. Organs, nervous system, brain, it could be anything. It's insidious and it is really powerful and really debilitating. And the mortality rate is something like two thirds of the victims in 20 years of having the disease. And then it drops off after that. There are even four different versions of the disease and it's very hard to diagnose. Wynn was telling me that basically it took his wife somewhere like six years to get a diagnosis and that's not unusual. It can take ages just for the doctors to winnow out things that they think it might be to actually get down to the fact that this, oh yeah, okay, this is lupus, you got it. Um, what this resulted for Wynn and for his wife was that they got seriously into advocacy for other people who are suffering from this. Um, Helen writes about it, I gather, extensively, and uh, she and Wynn both became very much involved in the Lupus Awareness Foundation of America, I think I got the name right, uh, to try and raise awareness of the disease and the people who are dealing with it. And this led to the thing that caught our attention, and I'm sure some of you on the Kilton Culture Group, it got your attention too, Wynn went so far as to design a tartan just for lupus awareness, okay? And he basically did it to, to try and boost the signal, right? So I had to write this down because there's a lot of details to it. But essentially, da, 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 and this is actually a unique tartan right now. Wynn is the only person in the world, as far as I know, who has a kilt in it. But the tartan is out there. It is officially registered with the offices of the Lord Lion in Scotland, and it has the nod from the support foundation here in the States. So this is this is a real deal thing. Um, as Wynn put it, basically purple is the official representative color of lupus. So he made that the dominant color. But, and this again, it's something people don't know, there's actually four different types of the disease. It's that complicated that they had to subdivide it. So what he did was he tried to include those colors to try and boost a message of hope and representation for the victims. So green is in there for, as he puts it, for rebirth and growth. Blue represents a cloudless, beautiful day, basically representing hope for today, being better than yesterday, daily progress. Gray is to signify that no matter how cloudy it may get, dark times will pass. You can do this. Red is for the fight and the struggle. Um, it's the culture in the community that people who have the disease are referred to as lupus warriors. So the red is basically the fight, the ongoing fight, and it is a daily thing. Uh, the symptoms can be uh, idiosyncratic, they can come and go, they can change. Um, it can be incredibly debilitating. Helen herself, and Wynn said it was okay for me to describe this to you, um, she has been on something like a, co uh, a cocktail of like five or six different meds, plus on top of all that chemotherapy, in order to try and fight down and beat down her immune system so it's not attacking the rest of her body. And this is what these people are going through. So the fact that Wynn has made this his mission to support his wife, and they have five kids, by the way. So this is, this is important. It's a family thing. Um, that's why he's our ambassador. 
And I think it's incredibly important that we remember that, especially this time of year. Um, we all have our own struggles, we all have our own battles, but you're never alone and you can do something for the community using what is your passion. In this case, it was you know, for when it was his heritage and he's gonna bring it all together. And that to me is a powerful part of the Celtic spirit. That's a powerful part of being an ambassador. And I'd encourage everybody to take a page from Winsbrook. If you wanna help, check out lupus.org uh, or support.lupus.org. You can get information there. If you know somebody who's suffering from the disease, you can make a donation. You can just find out if there are events going on in your area. Um, May is a Lupus Awareness Month. Doesn't get as much uh, attention as you might think. Um, so it's worth checking out and try to give a boost if you can. So thank you, Win. Win, Slanjava. Slanjava. If you want to be a Kilt Ambassador, or if you know someone you want to nominate to be a Kilt Ambassador, it's as simple as putting a photo on your social media and tagging USA Kilt. You can also send us an email at sales at usakilts.com to let us know about yourself or somebody who you think would be a great Kilt Ambassador. Have a great day, guys.